Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Today, we'll continue with our SQL Accounting System GST Module Tutorial video. Today, we're going to talk about GST tax code setting in stock maintenance. In our stock module, you need to create a list of all your product and also service. For example, you have a product over here and you can set the output tax and input tax for this item. But the good news is for SQL accounting system, we have a global setting for you. It's under tools, option, customer is your default output tax code. Normally we'll set at SR. Supplier, default input tax code, we set at TX. By doing this, plus another setting is GST effective date, then you do not require to set every single item output tax and input tax code. Imagine you have 1,000 items. If you need to do this setting, that means 1,000 1, items multiplied by 2 become 2,000 steps. But for SQL, you do not require to do so. Why? Let's say I go to sales, invoice, I create an invoice. Okay, let's say we put at 31st of March 2015. And when I select the item, you can see that there's no GST. But if I change the date to 1st of April, I select the same item. GST will come up automatically and calculate for you automatically. This is because we have the global setting. What if a company does have zero rated and also standard rated? Then and only by then, you need to go to that particular item. For example, we go to meet and we just need to set the output tax for this zero rated item is ZRL and also input tax will be ZP. So by doing this, then when we select the item, it will come out like this automatically. No charge of GST. So imagine with this function, you do not require to set output tax code and input tax code for most of your item. And luckily, most of the business in Malaysia is standard rated. So most of your item do not require to set do the setting for your item. No OT on 31st of March. So that's our lesson for today. Please go to my Facebook, facebook.com slash syntax technologies and like my page so that you can have all the latest information regarding GST and also our SQL tutorial video for GST module. Thank you.